Do you have a lot of house plants and you live in the northern hemisphere? Well, then I have bad news for you. Recent studies have found that winter is coming. Yellowing leaves are dropping left and right, new growth is slowing down and new leaves are coming in smaller and smaller. Propagations aren't as successful anymore. These are all symptoms of the winter season. Luckily, there is a cure for this planty winter blues. Grow lights. Which brings us to today's sponsor of the video, Spider Pharma. Thank you, Spider Pharma. We love a company that supports small creators. Today, I got the Spider Pharma SF600 to test out. I haven't unpacked it yet and I haven't tested it out yet. So it will be a first impressions together with you. But all jokes aside, I really need to step up my lighting situation in this corner because winter is coming and some of my plants already show signs of, well, yellowing and stagnant growth. Other issues can be smaller growth or variegation not being as contrasted as it usually is. In case you are searching for a new grow light for this winter, you might want to check this one out. Now here's the box and here is the light. It is one meter long or roughly 40 inches, which is pretty nice because you can illuminate a whole shelf with this. We have a little pamphlet with the instructions. It comes with the power cord. It also comes with a steel wire to attach it to the ceiling or your shelving unit. For the most interesting part, the light. It is super sturdy and here in the middle you can see the LED strip that will produce the light. There is a small logo on the side and then we have the attachment for the steel wire on top. Inside we have two strips with 384 LEDs. So you better believe that this will be a powerful light. This is the top, just a clean, white, slightly shiny metal finish. Very nice. Very simple, but everything you need included. First, let's address the current lighting situation because it's terrible and I can't wait to fix it all up with the Spider Pharma grow light. So this up here is a 20 euro Amazon find, which looks ugly. It is this cold blue light. I don't like this personally. And then down here I have another light because this one is way too weak. Um, that is like a yellowish light. So it's not a good combo. I don't think it looks nice. And let's be honest, if you have grow lights just like in your living room area, then you want them to look nice and aesthetically pleasing. And this is definitely not doing it. I really hope that this Spider Farmer is a good light because it looks nice. It has this sleek white look to it. And I think it will work really well in this top area here. Step one, remove this light. Ta-da! That's the old light. I attached it with some rope really poorly and it's just not the best looking. Now I already have some hooks attached in the ceiling and I think I can reuse them. Let's go for it. Attaching the light is really simple. You just screw on this little nubby thing right here and then you can adjust the height of your steel wire as needed. Loop through the wire and then fasten the screw. I'll just have to adjust the height now. Leave it at that. Probably better to do this with two people. I need a light. Connect the plug and the cable with each other and then you can plug it into the light right here. Other side goes into your socket. Ta-da! Wow, this is... Oh my gosh, this is so bright. This light is so much brighter than before. I... I'm blown away. This is so nice. 
and it has the perfect daylight spectrum. I really feel like it's not too yellow, not too blue. It's really nice and white and it really feels good on the eyes. I can't even... It looks so different and it's so much stronger than before. Guys, let's do a before and after. So this is the before and this is the after. Oh, I don't know if it's picking up, but it's so bright down here. And the light is really strong. If you also want to save your plants this winter, then head to the Spider Farmer website. It will be the first link in the description and you can check out their different lighting options. You will also find the Spider Farmer SF600 there. And if you do decide to buy something, then you can apply code LEAFY to get 3% off your order. To get a little bit more technical here, since aesthetic isn't everything, the light has 74 watts, is one meter long and has a full light spectrum tailored to enhance a plant's growth at every phase of advancement, seedlings, growth or flowers. It emits very little heat and there is no noise while running the light. And Spider Pharma states that it has a long lifespan of 100,000 hours. Oh, and another important note, Spider Pharma is shipping worldwide. I also want to measure the light intensity with my light meter. We have 5000 looks here. On top we have more like 17,000 looks, then down here also more like 50 and then on the bottom we have 2,000 looks. I am honestly really impressed with the light and I have no complaints whatsoever so far. It even works great for filming myself but I bet I could also switch it up on the plant wall and it would work for such a project as well. I will give you an update in exactly one month from now how my experience with the light was over time, but I also want to include a two weeks test phase and just check in every day to see how the plants are doing, what the light is doing. Roll the montage. I'm already completely sold on this grow light because aside from my plants being happy and healthy under it, I really think it ticks off all of the boxes. It looks amazing, it is super bright, it has a nice daylight spectrum, it's not too cool, not too warm, it's perfectly balanced. It looks really aesthetic from the outside, it has a nice hanging mechanism and these are really the main points that are important to me when buying a grow light. So if you are considering to buy a grow light this winter, definitely check out the website, click the link in the description and just see if any of their grow lights are a fit for you and then thank me later. If you're interested in other planty or home improvement videos, then definitely check out this one because it was quite fun to film and I'll see you next time. Until then, enjoy your plants and goodbye. Bye-bye.